Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about backward algorithm that addresses the likelihood problem in hidden Markov model. To understand the backward algorithm, let us consider the same example which we used for forward algorithm. In the example, Lisa does either of these four things in a day that is painting, cleaning, shopping or biking. These are called observed sequences. From this observation sequence, we want to know whether the day has been sunny or rainy. These two states are called as our hidden states. So this is illustrated in this figure. So we have the hidden states sunny and rainy and the observable state painting, cleaning, shopping and biking and their respective transition probabilities, so emission probabilities. So let us use this example and discuss about backward algorithm. First, let us understand what is backward algorithm. The backward algorithm is similar to the forward algorithm, but as the name suggests, it goes backward in time. The steps involved in backward algorithm are similar to forward algorithm, that is initialization, recursion and termination. First, let us discuss about initialization. The general equation for initialization is beta t of i is equal to 1. That is, it tells us that at time t, that is at the end of the observation sequence, the backward variables of every state is equal to 1. So, in our example, the end of the observable state is biking. So, it is fourth observable state. So, we initialize beta 4 of sunny and beta 4 of rainy as 1. So, this is the initialization step. So, the next step is recursion step. The general equation for recursion is beta t of i is equal to summation of a i j into b j of o t plus 1 into beta t plus 1 of j. Here a i j is the transition probability, b j of o t plus 1 is the emission probability of the observable state t plus 1, beta t plus 1 of j is the backward variable calculated at time step t plus 1. So, let us apply this equation for the hidden state sunny and calculate the backward variable for it at time step 3. So, since we are considering the time step 3, it is beta 3 of sunny is equal to, so in the formula we have transition probability A i j that is A of sunny to sunny into emission probability of the observable state t plus 1. So, t is equal to 3, t plus 1 is 4. So, fourth state is biking. So, into B of bike given sunny into backward variable at t plus 1. So, t plus 1 means beta 4. So, beta 4 of sunny plus Again, we have to consider the rainy state. So, we have the transition probability from sunny to rainy state into emission probability that is B of bike given rainy into beta 4 of rainy for the backward variable beta t plus 1. So, let us substitute the values. So, beta 3 of sunny is equal to A of sunny to sunny. So, consider this transition probability A of sunny to sunny is 0 0.8. So, 0 0.8 into B of bike given sunny. So, uh, emission probability B of bike. So, bike given sunny, it is 0 0.3. So, into 0 0.3 and then into beta 4 of sunny. So, we have uh, initialized beta 4 of sunny and beta 4 of rainy as 1. So, we consider beta 4 of sunny as 1 plus A of sunny to rainy. So, A of sunny to rainy is 0 0.2 multiplied by B of bike given rainy. So, bike given rainy is 0 0.05 into beta 4 rainy which is nothing but 1. So, if we calculate this, we will be getting the answer as for uh, beta 3 of sunny, it is 0 0.25. Similarly, let us apply the recursion equation for the rainy state at time step t is equal to 3. So, the formula is beta 3 of rainy is equal to A of rainy to sunny because we are considering rainy state here. So, a rainy to sunny into emission probability B of bike given sunny into beta t plus 1 of j which is nothing but beta 4 of sunny plus again rainy to rainy into B of bike given rainy into beta 4 of rainy. So, let us substitute the values. So, A of rainy to sunny. So, A of rainy to sunny is 0 0.4 into B of bike given sunny. So, bike given sunny is 0 0.3 into beta 4 of sunny is 1 as we know and then plus a of rainy to rainy. Rainy to rainy is 0 0.6 into B of bike given rainy. Bike given rainy is 0 0.05 and beta 4 of rainy is 1. So, let us compute the answer. It is 0 0.15. So, beta 3 of rainy is 0 0.15. So, now let us apply the recursion equation for the hidden state sunny at time step t is equal to 2. So, the formula is beta 2 of sunny is equal to the transition probability A of sunny to sunny into emission probability B of O t plus 1 means here t is equal to 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, third observable state is shop. 
So shock given sunny into backward variable that is beta t plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So beta 3 of sunny plus again we have to consider the transition probability from sunny to rainy into emission probability of B of shock given rainy into beta 3 of rainy. So let us substitute the value for this. So A of sunny to sunny is 0.8. And B of sharp given sunny. So sharp given sunny is 0.2 into beta 3 of sunny which we computed in the previous slide that is 0.25 plus A of sunny to rainy. Sunny to rainy is 0.2 and B of sharp given rainy. So sharp given rainy is also 0.2 multiplied by beta 3 of rainy which is nothing but 0.15. So if we compute this we will be getting the value 0.046 which is the value for beta 2 of sunny. Similarly, let us calculate for the hidden state rainy at time step t is equal to 2. So the formula is similar. Beta 2 of rainy is equal to A of rainy to sunny into B of sharp given sunny into beta 3 of sunny plus A of rainy to rainy into B of sharp given rainy into beta 3 of rainy. So let us substitute the values. Rainy to sunny. So rainy to sunny is 0.4. B of sharp given sunny. So sharp given sunny is 0.2. Beta 3 of sunny is 0.25 plus A of rainy to rainy. Rainy to rainy is 0.6 into B of sharp given rainy. Sharp given rainy is 0.2. Beta 3 of rainy is 0.15. So the final value is 0.038 for beta 2 of rainy. Now let us apply the recursion equation for the hidden state sunny at time step t is equal to 1. So the formula is beta 1 of sunny is equal to transition probability A of sunny to sunny into emission probability that is B of OT plus 1 here T plus 1 is 1 plus 1 2. So second state is clean. So clean given sunny into backward variable beta T plus 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2 beta 2 of sunny plus similarly we have to apply the transition probability for the rainy sunny to rainy into B of clean given rainy into beta 2 of rainy. So let us substitute the values. A of sunny to sunny is 0.8. B of clean given sunny. So clean given sunny is 0.1. And then beta 2 of sunny is 0.046 which we calculated in the earlier step. Plus A of sunny to rainy. So sunny to rainy is 0.2 into B of clean given rainy. So clean given rainy is 0.45. And beta 2 of rainy is 0.038. So the final value is 0.0071 for beta 1 of sunny. Let us do the same for rainy at t is equal to 1. So the formula is beta 1 of rainy is equal to A of rainy to sunny into B of clean given sunny into beta 2 of sunny plus A of rainy to rainy into B of clean given rainy into beta 2 of rainy. So substituting the values for rainy to sunny. A of rainy to uh, sunny is 0.4. B of clean given sunny. So clean given sunny is 0.1. Beta 2 of sunny is 0.046 plus A of rainy to rainy. Rainy to rainy is 0.6. B of clean given rainy. Clean given rainy is 0.45. And beta 2 of rainy is 0.038. So the final value for beta 1 of rainy is 0.0121. So these are the final backward probabilities which we are uh, giving for each observable state for the respective hidden state, rainy state and sunny state uh, from the fourth state, third state, second state and the first state. So after calculating all the backward variables, let us apply the termination step. The equation is P of O given lambda is equal to summation of pi i into beta i of O1 into beta 1 of i. Here pi i is the initial probability of being in state sunny or rainy. Beta 1 of O1 is the emission probability of the first observation O1. Here first observable state is painting. Beta 1 is the backward probability at the time t is equal to 1. So in our example the initial probability is pi of sunny is 0.6, pi of rainy is equal to 0.4 as shown in the diagram. Emission probability for the observable state 1 that is painting is paint given sunny is 0.4, paint given rainy is 0.3. The backward probabilities at the time t is equal to 1 is beta 1 of sunny is equal to 0 0.0071 and beta 1 of rain is equal to 0 0.0121 which we calculated in the earlier slides. Now let us substitute these values in this equation for sunny state. So it is pi of sunny into B i of O1. So O1 is painting. So B of paint given sunny into beta 1 of sunny. So let us uh, substitute the values pi of sunny is 0 0.6. Paint given sunny is 0 
beta 1 of sun is 0 0.0071. So, the value is 0 0.001704. Similarly, let us calculate for the rainy state. So, we are replacing sunny state with the rainy state. So, pi of rainy is 0 0.4. B of paint given rainy is 0 0.3. Beta 1 of rainy is 0 0.0121. The value is 0 0.001452. So, final value is we have to add these two that is 0 0.001704 plus 0 0.001452 which is nothing but P of O given lambda 0 0.003156. So, this is the probability of observing the particular observable state given the HMM lambda. So, thus in this lecture we have seen about backward algorithm for HMM. Thank you.